You know, everybody that goes to jail isn't a bad person. You know, I have doctors on bond. I have lawyers on bond. I have police officers on bond. It, this is a, I mean, we are really, really gambling. This is like being in downtown Vegas, you know, $1,000 bond, $3,000 bond, a $10,000 bond. There's another $10,000 bond. Cash register is ringing up. How many times have we bonded you out? Uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> We're all after a fugitive, we, well, except for the judge. Well, Bobby, you know more than anyone that a tsunami is coming. I, I just heard the tsunami. It's here, and the co-defendant lives out here, so we are just going to carpet bomb this town. Can I ask you a question if you've seen this person? But we will not do anything until we're all together. This is day three of our hunt on John Harris. He has definitely uh, went deep, deep, deep. Uh, in trying to hide from us. It's six o'clock in the afternoon here. Uh, we've been going for about 11 hours already, and I'm sure this will be another all-nighter. Uh, and we will go until we catch him, and uh, that's basically what we have right now. After getting him out of there and identifying him, uh, he's now in custody. He's facing a $500,000 bond in Arkansas. We have to literally drive him to Arkansas. We can't put him in jail here. You know what he's doing though? He's manning up to this thing. You know, he's just, I'm really, yeah, I've seen a lot of it, but I'll tell you what, I think that God bless him. You know, I can't help but feel sorry for him. We want to make a phone call to your dad real quick, okay? Well, I just want him to know that nobody's giving up. Nobody's, nobody's gonna Turn there, turn away, and maybe, maybe even more so now than before. I don't know. Uh, he struggled a little bit because of, uh, you know, he he is addicted. I love you, John. I love you too. That's this young man right here. He's touched my heart, and I'm on a mission to stop the hypocrisy that has entangled him and God knows how many other people that are out there. First help I've gotten in a long time. And I appreciate it more than anything. You said we'll be there in about an hour, okay? Okay. All right. Sounds good. And the way he drives, we'll be there in 12 minutes. We just got here to the jail in Magnolia, and uh, they just were trying to flag us into the the Sally Port, and there's actually a trustee coming outside. I don't know what's going on exactly, but uh, I think they're trying to board the bus or try to catch us on something, bring contraband in or something. So, um, trying to arrest us, bottom line. What they, what they want us to pull in there, or can we just walk him in? Yeah, they want us to drive in. We ain't driving this bus in there. We're walking in the front door. You guys are really need me realize they are good people. We have got to reform our judicial system. John Harris case alone is a young man that within 15 minutes, his whole world changed. He has now been sentenced to 69 years in prison. The hypocrisy to that 69 years in prison makes it three and a half million dollars. That's the hypocrisy and that has to stop.